We released the report right before the meeting uh, between Iran and the P5 plus one in Almaty. Uh, all the delegations received a copy of the report and we received very positive feedback from them. Um, this is the first time anyone has offered a concrete roadmap for sanctions relief. And although at this stage it's difficult to say if our recommendations have been taken on board, we certainly hope that uh, it has influenced uh, the thinking. The challenge is to come up with a meaningful and realistic package of sanctions relief from the P5 plus one side and match that with a parallel, significant, albeit meaningful, uh, uh, Iranian concessions on the nuclear issue. So what we have done is that we have classified all the unilateral, multilateral, and international sanctions imposed on Iran into four categories uh, based on ease or difficulty of lifting or suspending them. We've identified those sanctions which the Iranians would like to see lifted first and proposed a roadmap of mutual concessions. And we have matched Iranian nuclear concessions with um, uh, sanctions relief of equivalent value uh, from the P5 plus one side. The effect of sanctions are as complex as the sanctions regime itself. Not all actors and sectors have been impacted equally or as intended. In some areas, like the impact of sanctions on human rights or support of non-state and state actors in the region, sanctions have a rather bleak record. The impact on the nuclear and missile program has been mixed, uh, as sanctions have been able to slow them down, but they haven't been able to stop them. Uh, the impact on uh, the country's economy and energy sector is more difficult to assess, uh, because uh, it's very hard to disentangle the consequences of sanctions from those of Iranian mismanagement and uh, structural problems. But make no mistake, the impact, economic impact of sanctions on the country have been devastating. Iran has lost uh, almost 40% of its oil revenue and almost 80% of uh, the value of its currency. However, sanctions have not been able to change Iran's nuclear calculus. And this is why, instead of measuring the success of sanctions in terms of their impact on Iran's uh, policy calculations, today we look at the effectiveness of sanctions in terms of their economic impact. Not all sanctions are tied to Iran's nuclear program, as many relate to Iran's uh, domestic and foreign policies. So without a fundamental reorientation in Iran's approach, uh, it is highly unlikely uh, to have a significant relaxation uh, in the sanctions regime.